Well, we're moving from this era of sort of risk-based sort of quantified self to, I'd say, quantified health. These technologies are starting to infuse and will have a huge impact in healthcare. As these sensors leave our wrists, we're moving from sensors 1.0 to 3.0. Sensors in our pills, in our cars, in our swim caps that can trap our swimming. You know, moving from wearables to insidables. Companies like Google now developing contact lenses that can track blood sugar and partnering with Big Pharma to bring that to market. And moving not just from insidables to this idea of even uh, trainables. Wouldn't it be nice to have feedback? For example, something when our smartphone here, our postures aren't very good, and your mom wasn't there always to nag you. What if you had a way, a little device on your back that buzzes your back and reminds you to stand up straight? These are now on the market and can play a role in improving something as simple as posture. Or shockables, you know, Pavlov was onto something. <laughs> Do something wrong, boom, right? Or rings now that can track your motion, sleep labs on your wrist as you, as you go to sleep, or embedded into our clothes, into our cars, you know, starting with the sports world, but will be embedded into heart failure patients and others. Or in the pediatric world, and I train in pediatrics as well, this used to be the future, the connected diaper. Well, not the future anymore, because Huggies last year came out with Tweet Pee. You can figure out what that does. Um, <laughs> there's also, of course, data for number two, sometimes too much information, I would argue. Connected onesies can allow us to send children home from the intensive care unit earlier. Here's my son, Leo, about a year ago, doing his part for medicine. Didn't need that to tell me he's waking up every two hours, but you can see how these are going to play a role in infusing healthcare from connected binkies to ways we can track our quality of our breath. Uh, this device can track your blood alcohol level. If it's too high, locks you out of your car, calls you an Uber. But the new version will track the quality of your breath. Is it bad or not? How well hydrated are you? Soon other versions, like nano noses, will pick up and diagnose things like lung cancer from your breath alone. There's now Wi-Fi, published by MIT last year. Wi-Fi can pick up vital signs from multiple people in the same rooms. Um, and all this matters when it becomes personal. 